Good morning, welcome to Monday's Sculpt and Tone. Please make sure you are fit and well to train, you have clearance from your GP and you are aware that exercise can cause injury. Uh, we are doing challenge yourself circuits this morning. Um, there are four exercises, one minute each, and maybe we'll go twice through. Let's see, four, eight, 12, 12. No, let's just do them once and then you'll get a 30 second recovery. Uh, and we'll go into the next. Hello, Puss Cat, who's Misty. She's in for the gym. Um, how's it, Fiona? Welcome to class. And Ian, awesome. Morning, morning. Um, so, if you've got a set of weights, you can use a set of weights. If you haven't got weights, then you mimic my move without them. Um, we have PPL free music playing in the background, and we are good to go. Get you a sip of tea? Yes. Right, Misty Moot. So, um, if, you, if you're injured, please work within your range. Hello, Ian. Are you doing it today, big guy? Hey, Fiona. I hope so. Um, I think I've just killed the rest of the people off from the previous class. See my nice rosy cheeks? We were doing handstands and <laughs> burpees. It was lovely. Right, you'll be able to do that on catch up later. Okay, okay. Let's get going. Roll the shoulders. Right, pivot, torso pivot, so pivot the foot, twist through the spine, keep the elbows bent. Here, keys, you back. Carol, hello, Carol. Morning, morning. Oh, just who's the cat? Right, let's do some roll down walkouts to clack. So roll through the spine. Hello. And when you hit the bottom, walk it out. And back. My wrists are feeling a bit knackered from the last class. Okay, do one more. One more. Drop down, pull back. Drop the hips in and pull back. Jump in, yeah, coffee in here, that's good. Take one foot forward and just push into the hips, hip flexor stretch. So push the hips forward, pull back, and push, and we'll try to square up a little bit. No. And I'm just gonna switch my legs, push in. And pull that. Whoa. Come up into a straddle stretch. Little bounces, little side lunges. And roll it up. Right, are we good to go? Jelima, now you're back. Hello again. Not sure about the body. <laughs> right. Okay, so your first four moves you've got wide push ups. Alternating low side plank, full plank, and mountain climbers. All right, I'll show you all the modifications for the moves. We're just gonna get going. Uh, with the push-ups, if you have a look at my form, when you are in full plank position, your hands are wide here. When you pull your elbows, can you see the elbow is in line with the nipple? Same as in the push-up. I see a lot of people doing push-ups like this, and that internally rotates the shoulder and will damage it. So you always want your elbow to be here, when you're doing push-up, okay? Uh, right, let's get going down. I'm gonna put the timer on. So it's gonna run for four minutes, I think. If I said it right. No, is it? Yes, yes, it is. Right, let's go down to the floor, wide push-up. So your knees, toes, whatever. I don't want your bums pulled back though, okay? So, to the floor, I see. Take your hands wide, live toes, and push up, down, up. If you don't have to go that deep, you can come shoulder to elbow height and push. That's fine. What I don't want to see is this. Okay, you're going to hurt everything and you're not really doing much there. If you need to go against the wall for the push up, perfect. If you want to go on your toes, you choose. 
You move it out of the way. <laughs> so I'm probably on my knees for this one, just because we were doing a few handstands in the last class. Can you see that nice straight line from the shoulder to the knee? That is what we're looking for. Pull the abs in. Right, we're going into low side plank. Uh, so on your elbows, there, and you just rotate through. So it's easiest to cross out your arms here and rotate through the feet. If you need to, drop the knee. There is your modified option with knees. Okay, knee comes down and knee. Keep your foot on the floor, try not to lift the leg. Rotate through. Keep your shoulders over your elbows, choose a level. Try and keep your elbow and forearm flat to the floor. So you don't want to be lifting up, pointing your elbow into the floor. Palm flat. If you really need to, yeah, you're going to have to, have to lift that leg if you've got your knee down. Next one, full plank, hold the plank. So you can hold the plank on the hands, shoulders over hands, and feet, or you can drop to the knees, and hands, your arm by the way, or you can go to elbow, and toes, or elbow and knees. If you are on the lower plank with the knees down, can you see how the pelvis is slightly tilted forward? So we are looking to tilt the pelvis bone to the elbow. You don't want to be here, you want to round and tilt. Okay, squeeze hips to ribs on the core. Keep going. So think of the alignment of your body. I want you in a beautiful line and keep your shoulders over your elbows. If you cannot do it on the floor, you can do it against the wall where you add a little bit of body weight and push. So all levels today. Right, mountain climbers, onto your hands, and run. Keep your shoulders over the hands. If you want to modify, you can stand up, and reach. Or use two hands, and pull down. Okay? If you can't go on your wrists, and you need to be on your elbows, you can pull knees. You have to make sure your abs are on and you're lifted up for that one. Try to get your knees forward, like right up between the hands. The only way you're going to get between the hands is if you keep your shoulders right over your hands. Pull the abs in. And rest. That's your four minutes. It goes quite quickly. Shoulders a bit ripped from the last class. Oh, hello, clean house. I wish you could come and clean my house. Whew. Right. So now you're going to do alternating front lunges. I'm actually going to go back lunge because I don't like front lunges. Single leg deadlift, squats, and a deadlift high pull. So lunges, you can either step Forward lunge, push off the heel. At the bottom of the position, can you see you want two 90 degree angles? Or you can step back. I find a rear lunge is always much more controlled, okay? So we're looking for single leg lunges. I mean, alternating lunges. Single leg deadlift. You're gonna down and just alternate the leg. So if you find that difficult, bend a knee and just reach. Reach, okay? So you're reaching, you can have weights in your hand, I'm gonna hold weights. <sighs> Squats, hips back, drive it up and in, and a deadlift high pull. We're gonna deadlift down and then pull the weight up like you're pulling up a t-shirt. Are you ready? Alternating lunges, with or without weights, go. So when you lunge, you wanna keep your feet on railway tracks. Oops and tap in. 
Keep it nice and low. If you step back on a straight line, you have no balance. So make sure you're keeping it nice and wide. Try and drop the back knee down. Again, if you're weighted, you can frame the knee as you stand. Keep that front knee behind your toe, chest lifted. now. Alternating side lunges, broad jump forward back and alternating snatch. So, deep pocket squats, rack your weights up. If you've got weights and you want to sit as deep into the squat as you can, keeping a nice flat back, okay, and push in. Uh, your side lift, alternating side lunge, you can keep weights and frame the knee and come up. Flat back, bum back, you can do it without weights. Uh, broad jump, forward back, you're gonna land in the squat and run back. And then alternating snatch, you're gonna squat and you're gonna throw the weight above your head. So you tap the floor, it's as if you're coming into an upright row and you're gonna throw the weight up, palm out, reset. You're gonna either do it double weighted or alternate. 
Chest lifted, squeeze your bum, breathe out as you stand up. Oof. You must have your abs engaged. Did I push start? Yes, I did. Right, alternating side lunge. I'm doing it with that weight. Just because I can feel my back slightly from the last workout. So I'm getting into a nice deep side lunge. Feet nice and wide. Pull the hips back and reach down. Knee behind toe. Drive the hips in as you stand. Reach. Set the hips as far back as they'll go. You can obviously pick up your pace. I'm deliberately going slow so I can show you four. Recover. No recovery. We're going straight into broad jump and then back. So, drive from the squat, hips in. Land in the squat and run back. Woo. Modified option is a squat stand, squat, walk back. You choose. Land in the squat. So don't stop and sit down, it's one move. Drive the hips forward. Switch arms. Nice flat back here. Squat, flat back, pull up. Okay, watch without the weight. It's as if you're doing a high pull and then you throw it up. Don't let go of the weight at the top. One of my favorite moves. Make sure we've got a solid grip of the waist at the top. And recover. Okay. We're going into some core moves. So you've got rope pull, knee knee foot foot, hip up, V up, and jackknife toe taps. Sounds good. Let's have a sip of tea. It's my bum. I can feel my bum off the last one. Hmm. So a rope pull. Imagine you've got a, a rope between your feet and you're going to pull yourself up. Uh. Alright, so you ready? On your back. So, uh. hi. Are you helping? Okay, hook the rope between the feet, chin off chest, and you're going to reach 
for the rope and pull. Go. So I'm supporting my head slightly with the elbow down as I reach this hand up. If you want, you can just pull the shoulder back down to the floor as if you're pulling yourself up on a rope. You should feel that in the lower abs. If you battle holding your legs up so straight, keep your legs bent and pretend your feet are up there and keep pulling, okay? Otherwise, this works as well. It's the same motion in the torso, okay? Working the core. Turn off chest. If you want a little bit more, put your toes together or turn your heels together, toes out. Working inner thigh. If you feel it in the neck, put your tongue behind your teeth. Okay, and breathe out. Good. Come up. Knee, knee, foot, foot. So it is knee, knee, foot, foot. Modified option. You want to pull the hips back. And here, here. Keep going, keep going, music stop. Can't not have any music. Woo. It's not pancakes. Not me. I think Bella's cooking. So when you're turning the leg like this, it's activating your adductors, and that gets harder than just running with your knees up. You will have noticed. Okay, right, hip up, V up. Come down, this is your V up. You come down, you come up. Fingertips facing toes, heels in, hips up. Down, down, go, up. Hips up. Your modified option is a sit up. And another sit up and lift your hips. If you really can't get your hands in this position, then do a bridge and a sit up. Okay? Hip. A little PPL free music on Spotify. Looks like we're going to be. Woo! Oh, last one. Jackknife toe taps. So, opposite foot, come up, single leg, and reach. If you can't get all the way up, try, 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 try. Hook your feet under a couch. Just do a knee. Whatever you got. You've got a rest coming up, and your belly's going to be on fire. If you're feeling it in your neck, try and release the neck. Don't pull on the neck. Show me, boy. Help. 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 So 10 seconds. Come on, push. Rest. Holy moly, the one that shot. Right. I want to go next. Let me go next. So now we're going elbow plank, hip dips. Plank, jack, shoulder tap. Plank, jack, shoulder tap. Okay. Crucifix, plank, hold. Nice. Down dog to oblique knee crunch. Get in. Then we're done after this one. It's a short, sweet, tough class. Right, are you ready? Elbow plank, hip dips. It's hip dips on your elbows. You can modify it on your knees if you need. I'm just gonna aim for my water. Crawl across the water. Right, so best if you cross up your arms or have your arm. Actually, it doesn't make a difference. Right, you ready? Ah. 
Hey man, just get set. On your elbows. Okay. And you're gonna dip the hips. Walk through the feet. A tap. If you need to modify knees and you're rolling through. So the quad touches the floor. You would keep your knees relatively close together and the heels lift over. That's the modified option. What I want you doing is still tilting the pelvis um, to your elbow, okay? Feeling that in my shoulders. That'd be from previous handstands and wall walks this morning. Drop the hips in. 
Go back. Come up. Well done, gang. Well done. Still in one piece. I hope. Heel to bum. So when you're in here, just turn your thumb back and stretch. You'll be doing a bit of a chest and a quad. Other side. Yeah. Not too don't stay your fingers. Oh, feel the chest. Round. And pull back and down. My arms are not actually working anymore. All right, you guys are awesome today. Well done. Um, whew. Stretch. We have Pyo coming up. So set yourself up for that. I'm going to go and finish, make my tea hot again. Have a wonderful day in the snow. Go enjoy making snowmen. We've got a whole week of it. Okay, so if you missed the beginning of the class, um, you can do it on YouTube on catch up. Cool, Nat, well done. And um, Natalie, you might enjoy the first class if you missed that one this morning. Go, I haven't put it up yet, but it'll be on Facebook. Right, excellent. In the sun, we have got no sun here. It is just snow. Right, take care. Bye.